Now, everyone talks about that season being, to this day, the single best season of Tough. And you guys became good friends. Obviously, I saw you guys talking off uh, the air earlier before the show. There's a story that's out there that Nate was involved with that you once took a two-hour shower but did not get wet. What gives? First of all, Nate's always had my back, and he had my back on this one once again. I beat Swick. I was going to the finals, and... Um, Hey, there's no booze in the house. We won the party. So you know, I had to provide. I had to be there for my team. I was the captain. I had a car. I had some cash. I went and got some booze so we could celebrate. So after the fight, we had some. Then at night in the house, uh, we didn't have any more booze. So I had to shimmy out a window this big, run about eight mile round trip for a couple <laughs> bottles of Mad Dog, shimmied back in that little bathroom window, turned the water on, put the towel on, stepped out, and like everyone was there. The producers, Dana, the coaches, everyone with their jaw dropped because they were out looking for me. And all pissed. And here's and, the uh, difference between you and Nate. Nate bought booze for everybody. You bought a couple bottles of Mad Dog for yourself. <laughs> hey, we, we, we didn't have any money. They took all the money from us. So, so I actually had that money. Another story, I um, was on quarantine for staph infection. That night everyone went out and partied. I wasn't in that episode. Uh -huh. But the guy watching me took me out and uh, gambling and the strip, strip clubs and I had some leftover money. Well, listen, as we say, we're interactive and we've got a quick Twitter question for you, Steph. And here we go. This one is from Wyland Customs. Do you think you could have beaten Jones if that fight went five rounds? Well, Jones will tell you himself. He had nothing left in that third round. <laughs> That's why I won it. He will. Let me and tell you the reason Jones. for that is because he got tired from whooping my ass. From but throwing still, around I was octagon. making a comeback. I was rallying back. And let me tell you, he fight. knocked me so silly with that spinning elbow that when the third round did end, I was like, ha-ha, he's, he's done. <laughs> I got him now. Hey, wait, why is everyone coming in the ring? What? We got, I, I thought we had another round wow. left. Are you surprised that after me. he beat Rashad, we had him on the show, and Jones said the single toughest fight he's had to this date in his career was your fight. Well, it's because he hasn't had that feeling of having nothing left, and this guy just keeps coming, yeah. coming, coming. That's what I was doing. I took a beating, but then I kept pressuring him. And I sent you a text message after that yeah. saying, yeah. you raised the bar once again, just showing how tough. You can break a man's body, but you cannot break your heart. You know, we, you, Thank you, Nate. I needed that. Everyone else was criticizing me, and then you gave me a comment like that. See, that's why you are our leader on <laughs> season one of The Ultimate Fighter, the way, right there. Have you ever Ever gone back and watched that fight, or is it tough for you to do that? Which one, the Jones fight? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Yeah, when I was, I was crap. That was my first fight after surgery. Still, he's a lot better now, too. But, um, yeah, um, I'm a much better fighter now, and so is he. I think it'd be an interesting fight. Let's do it.